Current and former employees from across the country flew to Washington, D.C. to hear what the former CEO of Starbucks had to say under oath. It was a statement said over. These are allegations and Starbucks has not broken the law. And over again by former interim Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz, who faced senators in Washington, D.C. We treat our people fairly. We do nothing that is nefarious. As he responded to questions regarding Starbucks alleged union busting and ongoing litigation with the National Labor Relations Board. I've listened carefully and throughout your testimony you've made it very clear that Starbucks prefers its workers not to be unionized. When asked if he ever coerced or threatened an employee for trying to form a union, this was Schultz's response. I've had conversations that could have been interpreted in a different way than I intended. The room filled with current and former Starbucks employees like Katie McCoy. At 19, have been illegally fired twice now. McCoy says she was fired from her Marysville Starbucks at 18 years old for recording a conversation with her manager about wearing union attire. It has been just begging rich people to see that I'm deserving of a livelihood. McCoy says this hearing was a huge win. This is this is just the start. We, we've only been around for a year. Meanwhile, Schultz adamantly argued that Starbucks values and invests in its employees. Employee retention at Starbucks is twice the industry average. This was his response when asked about cutting benefits to employees trying to unionize. It was my understanding that we could not provide those benefits under the law. Schultz told Congress that the company will continue to negotiate with unionized stores, but it has to be face to face. He said that the issue with doing it online is the ability to record. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.